The top 10 highest paying technology degrees of 2023. That is what this video is going to be all about. We're going to be going over the highest paying technology related majors. All right, so this is going to be a new and improved version of last year's list. One of the major changes I made to this year's list when I was evaluating it and trying to make it even better is I added the demand at the entry level, right? Because there's some careers out there that have a lot of demand, but they don't necessarily have a lot of demand at the entry level. So it can be really difficult to break into the career and get that first job. So if you appreciate this type of video, go ahead smash that like button like Donkey Kong and let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so first one on the list is going to be computer information systems. So with this one, you can expect to make about $56,000 a year starting out and $97,800 in mid-career pay. One career path you might go down is becoming a database administrator and they make about $93,000 a year. There's 132,000 jobs available and it's growing at 10%, which is much faster than average. As a computer information systems analyst, according to Glassdoor, you'd make about $105,000 a year. And if you look up computer information systems on LinkedIn, you're going to see 47,000 jobs at the entry level. So this is really good. Number nine on the list is going to be information technology management. With this one, you would expect to make about $59,000 a year starting out and 103,000 in mid-career pay. One career path you might go down is becoming a computer systems analyst and they make $90,000 a year. There's 632,000 jobs available and it's growing at 7%, which is faster than average. And if you type in information technology management on Glassdoor, you're going to see they make on average about $124,000 a year. And if you type in information technology management on LinkedIn, at the entry level, you're going to see 46,000 results. So very good. Now, information technology is a very broad subject. There's so many different ways you can go by getting into IT. It's almost like saying a technology career. But with that being said, the easiest way to break into information technology is to get an entry level IT help desk job. Now, this is a job that pays around $40,000, $50,000 a year. And this is typically the job that most people are going to start out in. Now, the cool thing about an IT help desk job is you don't necessarily have to get a degree in order to break into it. There are actually many different types of IT help desk jobs that you can break into with just a certification. And with that being said, I've done tons of interviews on this channel of people who have broken into the tech industry without getting a degree and without having any previous experience. And what's really cool is course careers. I've talked about them before on this channel teaches you exactly how to do that. So if you want to check out a free training from them on how to break into the technology industry, I will put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next one on the list, number eight, is going to be information security and assurance. So with this one, you can expect to make about $60,000 a year starting out and 103,000 in mid-career pay. One career path you might go down is becoming an information security analyst. And according to BLS, they make $99,000 a year. There's 131,000 jobs available and it's growing at 30%, which is much faster than average. If you look on Glassdoor, they say information security makes about $90,000 a year. And according to LinkedIn, when you type in information security, you're going to see 141,000 results at the entry level. So that is phenomenal. Number seven on the list is going to be one of my favorite degrees, and that is management information systems. So at this degree, you would expect to make about $61,000 a year starting out and 107,000 in mid-career pay. One career path you might go down is becoming a computer network architect, and they make a 112,000 a year. There's 160,000 jobs available and it's growing at 5%, which is faster than average. If you type in management information systems analyst on Glassdoor, you're going to see they make about $83,000 a year. And if you type management information systems in on LinkedIn, you're going to see 30,000 results at the entry level. Now, this one is technically a business degree with a focus on technology, but depending on the program you go to, they're going to have more or less focus on tech. But that is a great combination. I mean, business and technology is just a a phenomenal combination. Absolutely love this degree. Next one on the list, number six is going to be software engineering. With this one, you'd expect to make about $71,000 a year starting out and 114,000 in mid-career pay. If you type in software engineer on Glassdoor, you're going to see $105,000 a year. And if you type in software engineering on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're going to see 433,000 results, which is absolutely phenomenal. Number five on the list is going to be a very similar degree, which is computer science. In fact, in some countries, those two degrees are the same exact thing, but in the United States, they are separate, but they do cover a lot of the same stuff. But with that being said, with this one, you'd expect to make about $70,000 a year starting out and 116,000 in mid-career pay. If you look on BLS, software developers make $107,000 a year. There is a whopping 1.4 million jobs and it's growing at 22%, which is much faster than average. If you look up computer 
computer science on Glassdoor, you're gonna see they make about $91,000 a year. And if you type in the keywords computer science on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 191,000 results at the entry level. Next one on the list is computer engineering. And a lot of the time I just say get an electrical engineering degree, but yeah, computer engineering, you'd expect to make around $74,000 a year starting out and 123,000 in mid-career pay. According to BLS, computer hardware engineers make $117,000 a year. There's 71,000 jobs available, but it's only growing at about 2%. But with that being said, there's a lot of other career paths you can go down with this degree. If you type in computer engineer on Glassdoor, you're gonna see they make about $73,000 a year. And if you type in computer engineering on LinkedIn, you're gonna see a whopping 110,000 results at the entry level. Next one on the list, number three, is going to be computer systems engineering. With this one, you'd expect to make about $74,000 a year starting out and 124,000 in mid-career pay. According to Glassdoor, they make about $90,000 a year. And if you type this one in on LinkedIn, you're gonna see about 56,000 results for the keywords computer systems engineer at the entry level. And on BLS, one career path you might go down is a computer and information research scientist. They make 122,000, 32,000 jobs and growing at 15%, which is much faster than average. Now, one thing I will say about this one and the next few on the list is we're getting into that territory where these are degrees in many cases where not a lot of people graduate with them. So the numbers aren't necessarily as accurate, right? Because if there's only like 300 people graduating with a degree, that's not gonna be nearly as accurate as if you have a degree that 10,000 people are graduating with. So just keep that in mind. Take this list with a grain of salt. Next one on the list, number two is going to be operations and information systems management. With this degree, you'd expect to make about $63,000 a year starting out and $125,000 in mid-career pay. And if you type in information systems operations manager on Glassdoor, you're going to see $91,000 a year. And if you type in operations and information systems management on LinkedIn, you're going to see 11,000 results at the entry level. So yeah, this is another one of those combination degrees probably not that many people graduated with it. So I'm not exactly sure how accurate the statistics are. But with that being said, this is a great skill set to have in general. Are a very particular set of skills. So I don't think it would be a terrible idea to get this degree. But also with that being said, it's probably a better idea to get a more popular degree that is much more recognizable and a lot of people know about it. Now, number one on the list is going to be information and computer science. So this one is basically a combination of information technology and computer science. With this one, you would expect to make about $70,000 a year starting out and 127,000 in mid-career pay. One career path you might go down is becoming a computer information systems manager. They make $140,000. $46,000 per year. There's 461,000 jobs and it's growing at 10%, which is much faster than average. And if you type in information science on Glassdoor, you're going to see $101,000 a year. And information science on LinkedIn, you're going to see 49,000 results at the entry level. So yeah, anything to do with information or data, incredibly valuable right now. Not surprised to see this as number one. But with that being said, like I said before, probably a better idea to just get one or the other. Now, the cool thing about technology is it's one of the best industries to work in. And I did an interview with Antoine from the channel Black Heights, really cool guy. Um, you can check that interview out right here. He works in technology and he makes over $540,000 a year. And the method he recommends to get into technology is actually course careers, which again, I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. They have a free training. So check that out as well.